Whoa, whoa, whoa. Don't start YouTube before you watch this video. You see, I started on YouTube back in 2014. I've been on YouTube for quite a few years now. And during this time, I've made a lot of mistakes. So if you are thinking about starting a YouTube channel or becoming a full-time YouTuber, I want to share with you five tips that can help you tremendously on this path. Tip number one, don't build your life around YouTube, build YouTube around your life. I see a lot of struggling YouTubers where all they do is making videos and coming up with scripts and coming up with stories and, and they will storyboard and spend hours and hours and hours editing and uploading and, and worrying about, oh, am I getting views? Am I getting subscribers? And they spend a bit way too much time on that. You see, I don't build my life around YouTube. Although I upload a new video every single day, I only on average spend about one day a week for filming. Just one day a week. Half day here and half a day there. That's it. So I build YouTube around my life, around my passion, around my expertise. Tip number two, and that is have a long-term view. See, most people, they get on YouTube, they give up way too early. They upload a couple of videos and no one is watching it or only have a few views. They're like, oh my goodness, this is not working. You see, it took me 18 months to go from zero to 1,000 subscribers, 18 months. And then told me in other eight months, go from 1,000 subscribers to 10,000 subscribers. That is a long, long time in the business world. That's a couple of years. And then it only took me from 10,000 subscribers to 100,000 subscribers. It only took me another 12 months in less than a year. And from 100,000 subscribers to a million subscribers in other 12 months. And now on average, I get more subscribers in just a few hours. What took me 18 months back then to get 1,000 subscribers, I'm getting that every couple hours. So most people give up too early. So if you're gonna become a YouTuber, devote the time and plan a little bit long term and commit, you know what, I'm gonna do this. I'm not gonna try this. I'm gonna do this for one, two, three years because that exponential growth comes after a few years. And if you give up too early, it's not gonna work. Number three, don't buy into your own publicity. Yes, as you grow more subscribers, you will be more famous. You will get more fans around the world. You'll be getting more emails. You'll be getting more comments. You're getting a lot of likes. Don't let that get into your head. You are still you. You see, you cannot be a YouTuber if you don't like people. I believe being a YouTuber, you have to be able to handle the fame, that you're okay that people walk up to you from time to time, stranger who have been following you, who have been watching your videos, and they're so excited. Oh my God, you know, can I take a picture? Yes, sure, right? Knowing that that is going to happen as your channel gets bigger. And also, don't base your happiness on views and subscribers. One of the biggest mistakes I see YouTubers, they look at the statistics, and I look at the statistics too, but don't get too hung up on that. Oh, am I losing subscribers? Oh, I'm getting a few more views. Oh, I'm, I'm getting less views. They have this emotional ups and downs. No, when you wake up in the morning, first you have to like yourself. Tip number four, you cannot multiply zero. If you're not making money with a handful of subscribers that you have, maybe that first three, four, five, ten thousand subscribers, do not buy into a whole fantasy. Oh, if I hit 50,000, 100,000, a million, somehow it's always 100,000 subs, or then a million subs, then all my problems would go away and all the money would start pouring in. No, you cannot multiply zero. If you don't have a solid offer, if you don't have a business model that's already making you money in some small way, even when your channel is not very big, just having more views, more exposure, more subscribers, that is not gonna solve the problem. More of zero is still zero. So make sure that you have a solid business model from day one. Number five, you will get haters. I guarantee you, as you grow, you will get haters. You will get haters for no reason. And usually haters, the ones who hate you, they really hate you. Especially, depends on the videos that you make. If it's thought provoking, if it's very attention grabbing, you're gonna rub some people the wrong way. Just knowing that haters don't hate you, they hate themselves. 
Just imagine when I have a million subscribers on YouTube, when I'm getting millions and millions of views. One million people, if even 10%, let's say only 10% who hate me, that is 100,000 people hating me. That is a lot of people. That's a lot of people. So knowing that, that's gonna be okay. You live your life, you know what you stand for, you know your values, you know what you're about, that's okay. To avoid criticism, say nothing, do nothing, and be nothing. Now, if after that five tips and you say to yourself, you know what, I still wanna be a YouTuber. I want to make a full-time living from YouTube. I wanna use YouTube to grow my business or my personal brand. Then click the link here or here and join me for my masterclass where I'm gonna deep dive into exactly how I have built my YouTube channel from zero to where it is today. So go ahead, click the link, and I'll see you in the masterclass.